Hey, thanks for joining me today. My name's Wayne Spivey and I am the new teaching pastor for the Armstrong Mill campus. Um, I wanna to talk to you today about uh, anxiety. I know that we're all dealing with the coronavirus and um, it's affecting all of us. Either, even those of us who don't have it, it's still affecting us. Uh, our lives have changed. We're not able to uh, move about where we want and go to church and go to the grocery store the way we want and just everything is is changed for our lives <clears throat> and the uncertainty of our financial situation and so there's a lot of anxiety there's a lot of uh, worry and so I want to talk to you about that today and I want to read uh, from Philippians chapter 4 beginning in verse 6 and it says do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Don't be anxious about anything. Well, that's easier said than done. I mean, the truth of the matter is, as human beings, we uh, we do worry about the future and what's going on. But, you know, um, this says we need to put our trust in prayer. Well, prayer is our communication with God. So we lay out our, our, our concerns, our worries out before the Lord. We lay them at the cross. And you know what? He's fully able to take care of those things. Don't, anx don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition. So we need to pray. How much have you prayed today about the worry that you have in your heart and your life? About, Lord, my finances are yours. I give them over to you. Uh, Lord, my health is yours. It's in your hands and I give them over to you. Uh, lay it out before the Lord. Call out to him. Uh, he's fully capable of taking care of all our petitions. It goes on to say, <clears throat> with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. With thanksgiving. So I think we, uh, first of all, Thanks, thanksgiving. We, let's thank him even before he gives us the answer, even before he takes care of our requests, our anxieties. Let's say, Lord, I don't know how you're going to do it, but I want to thank you right now for what you are going to do in taking care of me, in uh, de-stressing me and taking away my anxiety. I want to thank you, Lord, because of that. And you know, thanks uh, really is praise. And when you take time out of your day just to praise God, whether it's uh, reading scripture, whether it's meditating on God, whether it is uh, listening to uh, praise music, but you lift the Lord high. You know what? When we put the Lord up where he belongs, up on the pedestal that he deserves, and we recognize that he is high and lifted up, when we do that, what we actually do is we recognize that he's above all and he can take care of all these things situations in our life and the anxiety that that can cripple us well it doesn't compare to a god who gives us freedom and confidence a god who takes care of our every needs so prayer and praise prayer and praise are ways in which we overcome anxiety prayer and praise i love the next verse i didn't read it <clears throat> but let me read the next verse it says and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Think about that. And the peace of God. You know, we, peace is probably the absence of anxiety, isn't it? Peace, we aren't concerned. Anxiety, we're stressed. We're, we're built up. All this stress is built up in you and worry. The peace of God, which transcends all understanding. How do we overcome the worry and anxiety of the coronavirus. It's by receiving the peace that transcends all understanding. It will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. You know, anxiety begins in the mind, in the heart. And the peace of God encapsulates us and takes care of us and protects us from the anxieties and the worries of this world. So today I wanna to encourage you to increase your peace by increasing your prayer and your praise. Prayer, praise, and peace. The three P's of overcoming anxiety. I hope you have that today. I pray for you 
in that. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day in the Lord.